that was a fun time, right? That probably was an emotional high. But at 24, I would think that you, maybe you probably didn't realize what was going on at that point. Again, the NBA was just coming. But that 2002 series against the Los Angeles Lakers, Game 7, double overtime, I mean, that was probably the best, one of the best Western Conference series ever. And here you are, and you lose Game 7. What is that emotion like, knowing that you might not ever get back to that point again? Well, it's devastating. I mean, you still, <laughs> you, you never forget it. I never forget it. You know, it's always with you the, for the rest of your life because it was a moment that we could have won the championship. I, I, I'm telling you, if we'd have beat the Lakers, we'd have won it. But that being said, you know, it just it stays with you. You, you can't get it out of you because there was, you know, the ratings were so high. Yeah. I mean, we had 17, 18 ratings, one of the highest ever. And, you know, was, and then there was, there was a couple of scuffles along the way with uh, Rick Fox and and, and uh, our guys. So, I mean, that, that didn't hurt for the Raids a little bit. But uh, it was just an epic series. And everybody still to this day, I remember that series with you and the Lakers. It's, yeah. Well, I remember it too well. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I'm not going to lie. You know, I was rooting for for the Kings in a way. Uh, again, that was one of the best series that, that I've ever watched as, as an NBA fan before I was a, a journalist. But, you know, I cannot lie. Also, I, I was very mad at the Kings, too, because y'all shipped us Chris Webber because I'm a Sixers fan at that point. And it was a deal that I'm thinking at first, oh, man, we got Webber, him, Allen Iverson, and y'all bamboozled us. What in the world, man? We did not get the C-Web that we thought we were going to get. When you go back and you revisit that deal, is there anything you would do differently about that? No. <laughs> well, you know, we, you know, we love Chris Weber. I love Chris Weber. He's a great yeah. guy. But he was in the twilight, and he, he wasn't the same guy. He was in the twilight of his career. And, you know, it's sports. You, you, have, you have to make tough decisions. And that was one of the toughest things that I've ever had to, to do is to, to let and to trade some of the players because you get so attached to them. You know, there's only 14 of them. Yeah. And you get really attached to it. But we've all, we always we always called the player before we let him go, or we traded him. We, we always gave him that courtesy, and we, we felt that um, we you know the, long term we, we're all friends. We're still friends. I'm still friends with Demarcus Cousins, and you know it just it just goes on. Life goes on. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Well, you look 14 years. You said life goes on. You look back at that era that you had, that run as Kings owners. Is anything as an owner? That you would do differently as a whole. I mean, your brother's on on record as saying the the fact that when you guys were trying to get the arena built, that was a political bloodbath. You may have made some mistakes there in trying to maybe solicit money from the public. I know California is very against stuff like that. But if there's anything that you would do differently, because you talk to people in Sacramento, you get two sides. There's a side that may not remember the Maloofs, and they may hate that because they will think of you guys as trying to move the franchise. And then you talk to those people who says, no, they were good. They invested in the team. They loved being around. They were entertainers. They brought so much fun. But when you think about it as an owner, anything you would do differently? Well, I, obviously, there's always controversy when you talk about an arena. And, and yeah. that's kind of... What, what what got us is the, uh, the the controversy around building the arena and public financing. We were willing to do a public private uh, financing package to build an arena, but there was a mayor there that, that just didn't want to do it, and so we kind of got a little sideways and uh, and that and that's how that's how that. But it's always controversial, and we never wanted to move the team. We bought the in fact we 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 bought the team and. And then we sold it to a local group there because for less money, I'll have you less money. So we didn't want the team to move. It's just we were left with very few options, and that was one of them.